Hey guys, once again, this is a disclaimer saying that this is my opinion. All of this stuff is my opinion. You don't have to agree with my opinion. And you know what? If you don't, then that's perfectly fine. I wish you guys a wonderful and safe day. And please enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And let's roll that intro. <laughs> So, Little Uzi Vert, not necessarily the best rapper in the world. I've heard a few of his songs, and I don't find him too stellar. But, um, what do you do when you have a, in my opinion, a subpar rapping career, and you need to keep yourself really relevant? Show everyone that you have way too much money on your hands, and, uh, get a diamond implanted into your skull. Yes, yes. I didn't think it was a thing, but there is now... In my personal opinion, such a thing as too much money. Too much money. Lil Uzi Vert got a diamond. A $24 million diamond. Implanted into his skull. And it looks both painful. So warning, I'm going to show you this picture. It looks painful, but it also looks really stupid. And it, it just it just shows you that there is indeed such a thing as too much money. Good lord, dude. Good lord. You had all this money. You know, you could have donated it to a charity. You could have, you know, solved the hunger crisis in your local homeless shelter for a, 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 a while, really, with $24 million. You could have done a lot of good with that money. I'm trying to say, or you like, you could have even, even if you wanted to still go the selfish route, you could have still bought yourself a diamond that was worth 24 million without, you know, getting it permanently burrowed into your brain. Uh, that, that, that's something that people do. That's something that people do. Um, so even if you wanted to still be that selfish person, you could have done it so many different ways, but, um, little Lucy Vert just proves that you can have way too much money. Like, like, I say this in all in all joking. I, I'm completely being sarcastic, but so this this makes me feel like there needs to be a cutoff to how much money people can make. Because if you're gonna be this idiotic, like Jake Paul was was always idiotic, always idiotic. But if you're gonna be this idiotic with your cash, to the point where you're putting pieces of mineral into your head then that tells me something is seriously wrong with you dude come on man are you seriously gonna go around and 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 put a diamond into your skull to try to stay relevant now i don't know how many little uzi vert fans there really are out there in the world i really really don't but in my personal opinion it's like even you guys have to be like oh yeah this is kind of stupid this is kind of stupid. No, I'm not judging his music or anything. Well, I guess I kind of did at the beginning of this. I mean, I did call it kind of subpar. But, I mean, overall, this is not about his music. This is about him as a per person getting a piece of mineral lodged into his cranium. Why in the world would you get a piece of mineral lodged into your cranium? It makes no sense. In fact, it sounds really stupid when you say it out loud. And, in fact, because it is stupid when you say it out loud. But the thing is, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> And so, when we see a little Lucy Vert and, and rappers do dumb, th when we see rappers do dumb crap, remember that Lil Lucy Vert has done the biggest, most stupid thing you could possibly think of in a person. It is so astronomically dumb. I cannot believe he did something like this. I just, I just can't. So, so is my monologue out the way. Yahoo Life says Lil Uzi Verdict debuted a new accessory on Wednesday with a video showing off a pink diamond attached to his forehead. Now people are wondering how the rapper got the stone in place and if seemingly, if the seemingly major body modification is safe. Uh, most likely, in my personal opinion, it's not. But again, for a dude who, who raps about, you know, the, the typical rapper lifestyle, I mean, you know, he's not necessarily thinking straight in the brain anyway. The 26-year-old rapper received mixed response to his new look from people who called it a third eye, referred to Uzi as a Sims character. <laughs> After he shared the new accessory to Instagram, beauty is pain, he wrote in the caption. Just, just think of this. Just think of it. You are telling your stoner followers 
beauty is pain, so you only be beautiful. You have to do this, this, and this. This is me. I'm not trying to become one of these, you know, oversensitive, uh, you know, far, far, far left leaning people who's like, you know, you're setting a bad precedence and stuff like that. No, I'm not trying to sound like that, but I am going to say this. I'm going to say this. You are setting just as bad of a precedence. People who think that you have to be a size zero and, and, and starve yourself and dehydrate yourself to be able to be a model. That you're just setting the same precedence. Um, while many assumed Uzi had the stone implanted into his forehead, according to according to Luis Garcia, the vice president and of the Association of Professional Piercers, it's simply a piercing. Well, that 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 still sounds like it hurts. Still sounds like it hurts. It looks like he has what we would call a vertical bridge piercing, as the bridge of his nose that would be an actual piercing with a staple shape barbell that enters one point, exits the other, and then the big diamond attaches to that bar on the front. Garcia tells Yahoo Life, quote, it's a piercing. Well, obviously not a super common in typical circles. No crap, Sherlock. It's fairly common in piercing circles. Definitely not with a giant $24 million diamond on it, but it's something that gets done. With three decades of experience under his belt, Garcia says that the style of piercing is not dangerous. However, the nearly 11 karat diamond that Uzi attached to it does pose some risk. Oh, I wonder why. With such a big piece, the weight of it, day-to-day -day life, like washing your face, sleeping, rolling around, wearing a hoodie, it's just going to be so easy to get that thing snagged. That's really where the main concern is, Garcia explains. The chances of it work working out are slim it seems like Uzi has been waiting a long time to get this piercing done I've been paying for a natural pink diamond from Elliot for years now this stone costs so much I've been paying for it since 2017 that was the first time I saw a real natural pink diamond a, a lot of M's in my face <laughs> Hey, look, I make so much money. I make so many millions that I, I, I'm i going to flex on those haters by getting one lodged into my skull. <laughs> this is just dumb on every sense of the word. I'm literally trying to t turn into a diamond. Yeah, dude, that's not a good thing. Garcia admits while he can't imagine that the, peer, the piece appears quote-unquote quote, scary to those who don't know a lot about piercings, it's likely the overwhelming appearance of the diamond is what's leading people to raise questions and criticize the rapper. Quote, sure, it's ostentatious and it's in your face, but so is a grill. A lot of people, which Uzi wears, Garcia says, it's fashion. Yeah, I don't necessarily think getting a grill in your in your mouth is necessarily good for you either, but I think a grill is a lot more safe than getting a giant $24 million diamond in your skull. We've already had a couple of calls about people wanting it done. In one sense, it incites interest, which is always good. Getting more people that aren't normally exposed to these trends, seeing it and maybe gaining acceptance, Garcia says. The hard thing, I would say you have responsible piercers who would say no to doing something like that. But at the same time, just like any other business, you have people that aren't as responsible or businesses that aren't, that, that don't necessarily care that much about quality. So you're going to have piercers that are going to do stuff like that, no matter what, because they think it's cool. They want that money. So there's a downside to it as, as it at that case at that sense for any health risks that Uzi might face for the piercing he got done and the quality of it Garcia says the worst that can happen is an infection as the skin begins to reject the piece pushing it out of place I've had that happen before with other things it's not fun uh, my testosterone pellets have done that before overall not super risky Garcia says worst case he's going to end up with a scar when the piercing rejects or fails, depending on how long he keeps it in. Well, here's the thing, my dude. Here's the here's the thing. Do you really want to have a piece of metal 
reject itself out of your body. I have to get testosterone pill injections into my tushy every three to four months. And when I first got those things in, they rejected and they can't, I mean, I'm sorry, this is going to be graphic. They rejected themselves and they, and they popped out of the skin and it was very painful. I know what this crap is like. Guys, this is not something that's fun. And because you've got stoner idiots that follow this stoner idiot and this drunk idiot wanting to do stuff like this, it's going to cause piercers to be like, hey, it's their body. We are just here to pick, collect a check. So they're going to collect that check. They're going to make that bank. And they're going to do something really stupid. Now, I find this a little funny. But they're, but I also find it funny that there are going to be idiots out there. That are going to try to imitate this any chance they, can, they get. It's just a thing that happens. So, yeah. This is something that I thought was interesting to cover. Lil Uzi Vert. An idiot. Trying to stay relevant. Of course. Flexing on the fact that he has way... Like, what is on his face could pay off my house's mortgage 14 times over and still have left. So, I, I, I don't know. You know, pandemic, crap like this, could have gone to so many good causes, but you know what? It, it is his money. It is his money. He can do with it what he wants, but still people... Selfish people will be selfish people. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Comment down below telling me what you think. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more of my content. And share this video if, because it tells the algorithm that you liked what you saw. This is Gabe of Happy Lobfish Productions signing off. Soon take care and God bless. Peace out, everybody.